We got our first look at the uh, reigning champions, Robbo, without Virgil van Dyke uh, in the midweek against Ajax. They get a clean sheet away from home in Europe. How optimistic should Liverpool fans be after that performance, given how uh, pessimistic they were in the hours before? Yeah, they got the result against Ajax, but I thought Ajax had a lot of the game. They were able to counter-attack. They were able to play through Liverpool a little bit too easily at times. Yes, Fabinho made that clearance off the line, but it was his mistake in the first place by not reading the ball being played over the top. He allowed the centre-forward to get in behind him. So I think they had slight problems in the game against Ajax. Usually their pressing game is much better higher up the field. They not usually played through. So that's something that Jurgen Klopp's going to have to get right. If they can get the pressing game right and they can get their midfield players winning the ball back in the right areas, it, they don't have to worry so much about what's going on at the back. They just have to read the danger. But that wasn't the case against Ajax. So I'd be still slightly worried about how Liverpool defended in that game against Ajax, even though they got a clean sheet. Yeah, uh, Don, Fabinho was exceptional in the match. Uh, Robbo mentioned the goal line clearance turned in pretty much a, a man of the match performance. Is he actually Liverpool's best centre half right now? I think he probably is. I mean, I've played that position where you go from central midfield and you go back and play centre half. And actually, it's a lot easier because you understand, you can see all the game in front of you. you. You understand when midfield players are making the runs in behind. You know, you spot the runs very quickly. And he knows the game, Fabinho. He's, you know, he's been at Monaco where he's played at centre half. He's played at right back. He's obviously played as a six and an eight in midfield. So once he steps back into that centre half berth, I think the game comes very easy to him. Um, I think he's got a turn of pace. He's very aggressive in the tackle. He's very cute as well. Seb, I think he gives tactical fouls away. So teams can never really get any rhythm when he plays there. So I think that's going to be his position for quite a while. Uh, Shaka, one position we haven't talked about too much Liverpool recently is, is in goal. Any Liverpool fan I talk to, they talk about the nerves when Adrian is uh, near the ball. Do you have uh, any questions about how long this can be sustained without Alisson? Um... Uh, I have a lot of questions about how, how long this can be sustained without Alisson. Adrian is a number two, can come in and give you a, a, a decent game or two, maybe three, but you don't want him playing any, any longer than that. Uh, I, I just feel that his uncertainty kind of seeps through to, to the rest of the back four. Um, so you, you can't. You, you, you can't have him playing any, any extended period of time. Eventually, it catches up. Those nerves, those nerves are telling. Uh, I've said this before. I've said this about a number of different goalkeepers. There's a big difference between being a number two and being a number one. Um, I, if if Allison is out for any period of time, any, any longer, that that's going to cost. That's going to cost Liverpool, especially without Van Dijk in, in front of uh, in Van Dijk in part as, as part of that that back four. Liverpool have to ha have to get have to get Allison back sooner rather than later if they want to mount a credible challenge to, to or, or defense of, of their title. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.